Hey, it's Brandon with Diamond J Customs. In the last video, we finished prototyping our last bracket for our complete dual A-arm kits for our 90cc youth quads. And today, now that we got our new shop press in, a 20-ton hydraulic press that we'll use to push bushings into our A-arms we're providing with the kits and bending up to quarter-inch steel brackets, I am ready to cut out some more brackets so we've got our CNC laptop right here. I'm just gonna pull up the CAD designs, modify them, and we'll get to cutting them out, bending them, powder coating them, so that by the end of today and tomorrow, I can start packaging up our complete dual arm kits to be shipping by the time this video is live. Let's get to making some parts. All right, now that we got some brackets cut out and cleaned up, I made a stencil here so I could outline where I need to break on each of these brackets. And right here you can see me just outlining on the brackets the inside and outside bend points so that when I put it into this press here, I know exactly where I need to clamp down on. So let's go over to the press and I'll bend a bracket to show you how it works. And there we go, four 90 degree bends in our solid 3 inch steel. I'll just go ahead and bend the nine other brackets I cut out and then we'll be able to powder coat these. <laughs> All right, with those brackets all finished up, we're ready to package the new dual A-arm conversion kits. Those are available at diamondjcustoms.com. If you're seeing this video, that means they are ready to ship for right now the Yamaha Raptor, our Kawasaki KFX90, and the Outlaw 110 and Outlaw 90. Next, we'll be working on our Polaris Predator to fit up not only the new dual A-arm kit in the front, but also our new rear extension kit, which I hope to be able to have available for all 90cc quads and maybe even larger quads. We'll just see, we'll start with the 90cc and see how well they develop. I did say in the last video, I would cover how to install the disc brakes to convert from hydraulic brakes with our new dual arm kit. I'm gonna make that in a separate video that will come out right after this one just so if people have questions, I can refer them directly to that video instead of having to watch this whole video and catch it at the end. If you're interested in seeing that, that'll be the next video. If not, our next mini series will be on the Predator 90 front dual arm kit and rear extension kit. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for future videos. I appreciate you watching so much. We'll see you in the next one.